This problem can be solved by treating the horizontal and vertical components of the motion separately. The acceleration in both directions is constant, so we can use the Suvat equations of motion in both cases. First find the time that the cannonball is in the air for by setting the vertical displacement equal to zero. This tells us the two times at which the cannonball is at the ground level. Obviously t equals zero is not a useful solution here. We can also write down the equation of motion for the horizontal motion, remembering that in this case there is no acceleration. Now simply eliminate t from this equation to find d.